In this video, I'm going to teach you how to convert repeating decimal into fraction. So let's say for example we have 0 0.555. So it's repeating 5 and how to convert this into fraction. So we can actually rewrite this in this way, 0 0.5 bar. That means 5 is repeating. And to convert this into fraction, we copy the repeating number into the numerator and put 9 in the denominator. So, why is it 9? It's always 9 for repeating. It just depends on the number of digits on top. If it's only one digit, then there will be one 9. If there are two digits on top, then there will be two 9s, and so on. So, let's have another example. We have 0 0.1212 and so on. Or we can rewrite this in this way, 0 0.12 bar. So we'll copy the 12 on top and put two nines in the denominator because there are two digits on top. But we can reduce this because 12 and 99 are both divisible by 3. So the reduced form is 4 over 33. So that means 0 0.12 bar is equivalent to 4 over 33, as well as the 0 0.5 bar is equivalent to 5 ninths. And another one, if it involves whole number, the process will be the same. So this can be written as 3.217 bar. As you can see, 217 is repeating. And so, we will just copy the whole number, and the same process will follow. So, copy the repeating number on top, and we're going to put three nines at the bottom because there are three digits in the numerator, and it cannot be reduced. So, the 3.217 bar in a fraction is 3 and 217 over 999. Now how about this? We have 0 0.3555 and so on. So this decimal is kind of different from the previous one because we have a number involved which is not repeating. So we can write it in this way 0 0.3 and the 5 bar. As you can see the bar is not including the 3 because it's not repeating. And so we cannot write it in this way 35 over 99. It's because this 3 is not repeating and should not be included on top. So how to convert uh, this kind of decimal into fraction? So this is how you do it. So we have this given 0 0.3555 which can be written as 0 0.35 bar. And we're going to use this whole number 3, 5, the whole uh, two decimals, 35, and we're going to subtract it with the number that is not repeating, which is the 3. So this will be equal to 32, and that will be the numerator. Now for the denominator, we're going to subtract the place value. For the 35, that is in the hundreds place, so we're going to put 100 minus the 3 is in the tenths place, so it's going to be 10. So 100 minus 10 is 90, and that is the denominator. And then 32 over 90 can be reduced, divided by 2, it will be 16 over 45. That means the fraction form of 0 0.3555 and so on is 16 over 45. So another example, we have 0 0.726868 and so on, so it's a repeating 68. So it can be written as this, 0 0.72 and the bar for the 68. So first is to uh, use the whole, the, the everything, all the four numbers in the decimal. So, so it's 7268 
minus the number that is not repeating which is 72 so we're gonna subtract this and the difference is 7196 which will be now the numerator for the denominator we're gonna subtract the place value 7268 is in the um, thousands place I mean ten thousands place so minus uh, the 72 is in the hundreds place so 10,000 minus 100 is 9,900 and so we're gonna put that in the denominator and it's the fraction but we can reduce it because both are divisible by 4 so I'm gonna divide it by 4 and the reduced form is 1,799 over 2,475 and that's the fraction form of the decimal 0 0.7268 bar. So let's have another example. We have a decimal with a whole number 10.5 and repeating 73 or 73. And so it can be it can be written as 10.573 bar. And how to convert this into fraction don't get, uh, get bothered with the 10 because the whole number won't change the process you just have to copy the 10 in the fraction later so it's the same process as I said so the whole decimal 573 we're gonna use that to subtract with a number that is not repeating which is 5 of course you should not include the whole number 10 and so, subtract 573 minus 5, the difference is 568. And that will be the numerator. So we're going to write it and make sure that you write first the whole number and the numerator 568. Now for the denominator, we're going to subtract the place values. So for 573, it is in the thousands place. So we're going to put 1000 minus the place value of 5, which is tenths. So that will be 10. So 1000 minus 10 is 990. And that uh, will be the numer uh, denominator. And we're going to reduce this by dividing by 2 to both numerator and denominator. So the reduced form is 10 and 284 over 495. And that is the fraction form of 10.573 bar. Now the question is, what's our basis to have this 0 0.5 bar become 5 over 9 and this 0 0.35 bar to become 32 over 90 or in reduced form 16 over 45? Surely you want to know the solution for this. Now let me show you the solution. So I'm going to show you the solution for the 0 0.5 bar converting to the fraction of 5 over 9 so here's the solution so we let um, the 0 0.5 bar to be the, a variable x now, or we can write it in this way the x as 0 0.555 and so on because it's uh, repeating 5 and then we will multiply this by 10 so that means the 0 0.55 will become 5.55 or in other words we move the decimal point once because it's times 10 the reason why we are uh, we did this because we want to remove this part the repeating number so we subtract the 10x equals 5.55 and so on minus the x equals 0 0.555 and so on so 10x minus x is 9x and 5.5 bar minus 0 0.5 bar will be 5 then solve for x so x is dividing by 9 both sides 5 over 9 so that means 0 0.5 bar is equal to 5 over 9 Next is I'm going to show you the solution for 
0.35 bar meaning a decimal with uh, part of it is not repeating converted into a fraction that which is 16 over 45 which is the reduced form so here's the solution so the same as the previous one is we're gonna let the uh, decimal as the variable x so x is 0 0.35 bar or we can rewrite it this way 0 0.3555 and so on then we're gonna multiply by 10 so x is 10x and also the decimal will be multiplied by 10 so it becomes 3.555 and so on but then um, using this information we cannot remove yet the decimal if we're going to subtract this because they are not exactly the same. So what we're going to do is to multiply x again by 100 so that it becomes 35.5555. And so we have this decimal which are exactly the same. That means if we subtract them, then it's going to be 0. Now let's subtract. 100x equals 35.555 and so on minus 10x equals 3.555 so 100x minus 10x is 90x and 35.5 bar minus 3.5 bar is 32 then divide both sides by 90 so x is 32 over 90 but this can be reduced by dividing by 2 to both numerator and denominator so x is 16 over 45 that means 0 0.35 bar is equivalent to 16 over 45 thanks for watching and i hope you have learned from this video please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn on the comment section